What? You alone what? out here? What? Are you alone out here? Yeah, yeah, don't yell, I'm deaf. You seen my, my full of beer glass thing goes smash if you drop it. You mean a beer bottle? That's why I said. You got bad hearing, you know that. The bottle was right. It was here. No, here somewhere. You're drunk. So, I'd rather be dead drunk than dead, and we're all gonna die soon anyway. You wait. When the white robe shows up, we'll all be as dead as... dead men. White robes? Yeah! The white robes. White! From the Inquish... Inquis... <laughs> Inquisition? Yeah! What do white robes want in a swamp? <laughs> They'll end up brown robes. Ha! Stinking swamp. Yeah. And what can you tell me about the white robes? They're everywhere. Uh, came from the sea, from the mainland, and now they're sweeping across the island, wrecking everything. <laughs> Have you ever met a white robe? Are you insane? Huh? <laughs> I'd run like a stabbed rat if I ever saw one. I can believe it. Where's that damn bottle? It's my bottle. <laughs> Give it back, you stinking swamp. Don't you think you've had enough? 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 <laughs> uh, I can't drink enough. Have you been to the Don's camp? I can tell you once you've spent a couple of days there. You'll start on the source too, believe me. If you'd been there, you'd be me. Why? What's wrong with the camp? Bunch of total arse... Oh, arse... Oh, bastards. Always screwing each other over. I don't trust a single one of them. The worst bastard is Brogar, a nasty piece of uh, work. He's a bastard's bastard. Tell me more about this Brogar. The whole damn place is under his thumb. Official. <laughs> Official. Officially? Officially, yeah. Officially, he's just the boss of the fighters the Don's lieutenant, but he's more than that. Every man there's terrified of him, even his shadow's scared of him. Because that Brogar, he wants to replace the Don, doesn't he? <sniffs> yeah, <laughs> he does. Right. You seem to know a lot about Brogar. More than you think, and not just about Brogar. You get me more beer. And then I'll really tell you something. I get you more beer and I'll be lucky to understand you. I'll see what I can do. Here, one beer for some information. Hey, 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 you got one. Huh. You're beautiful. Here, you're a hunter. Or you were. Teach me something about it. Now you're talking. <laughs> when I got time, I'll do just that. You could just tell me the information as a friend. The only friend you've got in this swamp are the mosquitoes. Yeah, and they suck your blood. Can you teach me about hunting? I was sleeping. 
Thought you might like to know Dwight's gone back to work. He has? That's almost a miracle. But well done. Here, take these coins. Your gratitude is boundless. Enrico is back working at the excavation site. How did you manage that? Let's say he took some persuading, but saw sense. Well, I suppose you need to have some gold for that. I want to make a bet. Fabulous. What do you want to gamble on? I'll fight Ricardo and win. Ah, uh, well that's not too hard a prospect. Lousy odds, so your winnings won't be great. Job done. You needn't worry about those things in the excavation site anymore. You killed them? Right. 30 gold coins, wasn't it? Worth every one. Thanks. Pleasure talking to you. Right. I'll look forward to our next conversation. I challenge you to a fight in the arena. You think because I'm a guard, I'm soft. Your mistake. All right, then, you bastard. I'm sticking to guard duty from now on. That makes me feel safe. Bastard. I'm afraid none of the fighters will come to help you. Oh, yeah. I thought so. The fighters, they aren't very keen on fighting. Thanks for the trying, though. You can go back to work. The insects are gone. Are they really gone? Gone. Dead. Deceased. Okay. You seem like the honest type. I'd best be getting back to work, then. Lewis. He drinks a bit, doesn't he? Often, yes. But it's how he gets his eye in. Don't ask me how, but it works for him. And he really is the best teacher around. If you say so. You see why people don't stand up to Brogar? A few bruises won't stop me. You're lucky it wasn't stab wounds. His armor and those fighters make him feel tougher than he is. 
For you, maybe. For me, that's why I don't tangle with him. Brogar is a big fish in a small pond. And those are giant words. So big, I don't think you know what you're saying. I know some people wouldn't have a problem if he disappeared. I won't be responsible for what Brogar would do to you. Let me worry about that. You should worry. But you're serious, aren't you? How can I become one of the Don's men? Huh. Firstly, I need to tell you a couple of things. The Don's a powerful man. Well, he was. Since we've been in this swamp, he's hidden in that temple. Hasn't been out for weeks. His wife, Rachel, has been trying to run the camp. She's the one you need to impress if you want to meet the Don. Rachel. Right. Before you charge up to her, you need to be aware of... Rogar? You're learning. What would I have to do to deal with him? If you work for him, do what he tells you and listen to everything he says. it will let things slip. But you do know what you're proposing is dangerous. I need some better armor. You won't find it out here. There's only workers' clothes here. Well, what about your armor? Where did that come from? Armor for the hunters and fighters comes from the Don. But you won't get close to that if you're not accepted as one of us. Right, so I've got to join the Don's gang first. All right. Where can I get workers' clothing? Hawkins is your man. He's one of the Don's lieutenants. He's in charge of the workers. Why can't I get to talk to the Don himself? If you can't get Rachel on your side, maybe you could get past the guard at the temple. Maybe. Sounds like it could be worth a try. True, but it's a long shot. Rachel might be your best way in. I could help you. Helpful sort, aren't you? You better not have landed me in it with Brogar. But then one's trouble is another's ease. Rachel needs this meat, so she'll be happy. Take note, sometimes it's better to take sides than end up in the middle. Where do I find this Rachel? She's usually cooking in front of the temple. About Brogar. How does Rachel feel about him? She's soft. Brogar bullies her. And she's like that even though the Don's behind her. Word has it that Brogar wants to replace the Don. That much is obvious. There isn't a man in the place who hasn't worked that out. But it's not something anyone says out loud. Words can get you killed. You might cut his wood, but I don't want to end up as Brogar's lackey. What does he want you to do? He wants a haunch of meat. Do it. Get it for him. Why should I feed him? If you want to get in with Brogar, bring him what he wants. Make him trust you, but show him you mean business. That you can be an asset to him, not another slavish camp worker. If he thinks you're clever and that you can't be bullied, he'll take notice. Brogar's fighters are staging fights in the arena. Would the Don approve of that? You'd have to ask Rachel. But it might be something you can hold against Brogar. You could use it to stop Brogar. If you challenged him to combat and won, that would embarrass him in front of everyone. But it wouldn't be easy. That's an understatement. Well, you started on this path. Every man chooses his destination. Where are you going? Whatever happens, I'll need to train. A man needs skills, and with the path you've chosen, you'll need more skills than most. There is no way I can beat Brogar with this useless equipment. If you're after a better blade, Oscar the Smith will sell you one. If that fails, you'll need another line of attack. Magic. Try talking to Robart, the swamp farmer. He knows about magic, and as he's outside the camp, people won't hear you buying stuff. About your hunting. What can you tell me about your hunters? Well, there's Lewis. I haven't seen him for days. I expect he's under a rock in the swamp. Not even the swamp flies bother him when he's had a skimful. Doug should also be in the swamp. He should be hunting. But I haven't seen him for days either. And of course you know what delightful tasks I have to do. Both your hunters are back out doing their job. Are they? You work fast. Your team's not the best I've seen. You take what you find. 
They're what I found. As for your training, maybe I can help. About your hunting. Lewis isn't going to stop drinking anytime soon. I know. But when he's sober, or even when he's half cut, he's a damn good hunter. I met a hunter called Yan. You haven't mentioned him. He got himself posted as a guard on the road to Harbour Town. We never see him back here these days. That's another hunter less feeding the camp. Doug has been successful. He's given me some meat for the camp. We needed that. You'd better take it to Rachel if you haven't given it to her already. Brannon has returned to work. I saw. Good. Good work. I thought you'd be pleased. I am. Oh, uh, take this. You deserve payment. Right. They're all back at work. Things should get moving now. That is good work. That'll keep Beppo and his cronies off my back. Ricardo's made of rice paper and spit. You'll find tougher. Here, your winnings. I want to make a bet. I'll fight Lorenzo in the arena. That'll be worth watching. How about we sort out our differences in the arena? A show fight? Why not? It'll get me out of this place for a while. Time to fight! Ah! Oh.
you're gonna talk to me a bit nicer from now on. Fuck off. You beat him fair enough. And to the victor, the spoils. Your winnings. I'm ready to fight you now. Hold your horses, stallion. I'll fight you if you put some gold where your mouth is. Make it worth me while. I don't do anything for nothing. I want to make a bet. I'm ready to face you in the arena. There's gold on the table. How can I refuse? Let me know when you want this to start. I want to fight you. Right now. Well, that sounds serious. Meet me in the arena. The arena is the only place we'll fight. Got that? And if you leave the arena during the fight, you lose. May the worthiest fighter win. Now you die! You think it'll be one-sided? Let's find out. You bastard. That gear is mine. I'll consider that your winnings, you bastard. I want to make a bet. I'm ready to face Domingo in the arena. Now there's a fight should bring in some wages. Good luck.
Let's try a few rounds in the arena. Are you that keen to get a kick in? Not interested. You're not worth my time. Okay, I'll pay you. Ten gold. Sure, you can give me gold if you want, but my throat is as dry as sandpaper. I ain't budding an inch until I get a beer. Fine. You give up too easily, and you wonder why I don't want to fight you. Are you the local blacksmith? Blacksmith? I look like I spend my days making fucking old shoes. I'm a pewterer, a gilder, a worker of fine metal, and I'm not looking for an apprentice, particularly one that doesn't know the difference between a metal worker and a smith. Do I look like an apprentice? You don't look like you've got the coin to be a customer. What you want? I'm looking for new weapons. Looking is for losers. Paying gets you the goods. Do you need help? I'm looking for work. No one here looks for work. The only thing people here look for is gold. And you don't look like you're any different. Do you work with gold? Gold. Gold. Nothing but gold. You just see the money in it, don't you? Well, there's no point in you thinking about getting wealthy here. Every crumb of gold out there belongs to the Don. Everyone has to give their gold to the Don. If you know what's healthy for you, once a month you have to take the Don his share. And how much is his share? You see anyone round here looking wealthy? Not unless mud is the local currency. Well, you should see the gold he has in his temple. Hordes of it. I can see that look in your eye. Fancy a slice to you. You'll end up in pieces with those thoughts in your head. How do I get to see the Don? What do you want to see the Don for? Huh. Try standing on a tree outside the temple. You're not going to get closer than that. No one gets to see him. There has to be some way I can get to see him. There must be some way to see the Don. Something he wants. If it doesn't glitter, he doesn't give a toss. I wouldn't be surprised if one day he had his wife gold-plated. Is there something he wants then? Something in gold he doesn't have? We found a sword pommel. Beautiful bit of work. Supposed to belong to some garrison commander before he pissed off an ogre. You find the blade for that pommel, the Don would kiss your airy ass. Fuck it, I would too. Where can I find this sword blade that Don wants? If you believe the stories, the ogre dragged the garrison commander off where those temple ruins are. If anyone has found anything there, they're bound to shoot their mouth off. Particularly seeing as those bits of blade will be covered in gold. There's a pisshead called Lewis, reckoned he'd seen something but he's a sack of shit. So you want to restore the sword for the Don? If I can get all the pieces. Can't do jack shit without all the pieces. I'll find the blade the Don wants. You want to look for it? Be my guest. But you take one piece of that blade for yourself, one bit of glittering gold, I'll hear about it. I wouldn't dream of it. Have you got any sword blanks? It's just what I got here. My stock of ore is empty. You bring me some iron ore, I can make you some blanks. Waif and stray looking for pity? Or fortune hunter looking for gold? Looks like I've got another mouth to feed. Are you the cook? 
Amongst other things, you have to be adaptable in these times. One day you've a sword in your hand, the next a ladle. And the cooking relaxes me, if you call stirring wild boar and brugal weed cooking. Sorry, forgotten my manners. I'm Rachel. Here, new mouth, take this meat. Freshly cooked. Rogar wants a haunch of fried meat. And he sent you to get it for him? <laughs> Lazy devil. Well, I've already given you some meat, so you can sort Brogar out yourself. How are things around here? Perfect. I don't know why we didn't move out of the town into the swamp earlier. The Inquisition are sucking the life out of the town, but this swamp is sucking the life out of us. We used to be close, all of us. Everyone made their share, worked for their share. Now it's falling apart. And with Esteban in that damn temple, I'm the one trying to hold it together. Why do you think things are falling apart here? It's those ruins. They've got everyone's mind on treasure. Even my Esteban. The whole place is being dug up. Although I'm certain that not everything that's being found is being delivered to the camp. Esteban makes sure that all the workers get a share of the gold. He's very fair like that. But someone is looking to line their own pockets. Who do you think it is lining their own pockets? And what would happen to them if you knew who it was? He'd be dead. Esteban's not a forgiving man. So it seems. I need to talk to the Don. Join the queue. I'm thinking of joining it myself. You can talk to me. When Esteban's busy, and he's always busy, I'm in charge. But can you get me in to see him? No. Look, he needs time alone to think. I'm always having to turn people away, even his good friends. Why would I make an exception for a newcomer? I don't trust the Inquisition. I want to join Don Esteban's gang. Another person without a home. I don't even recognize you from Harbour Town. Are you sure you're not with the Inquisition, new mouth? If you want to stay, then you'd better make yourself useful. Everyone needs to pull their weight here, and no one gets to see Esteban unless they have something valuable or important for him. Can I help? And why would you want to do that? What do you want, new mouth? Lazy cutthroats, idle thieves and mosquitoes. Why do you want in on this? You think the Don is losing control? He's... a complicated man. The Inquisition's takeover of Harbour Town shook him up badly. All we've got is this place, and it's fragile, especially at the moment. I really don't need someone stirring up trouble. You sound like you need help. What if I help out? You do that. But, well, if you really want to stick your hand in this beehive, you're welcome to. We can certainly use the help. Everything seems to have ground to a halt. Go to the camp lieutenants and see what sort of problems they're having. That should help you get a picture of what's happening here. Maybe we can root out the source of this rot before it reaches Esteban. About your camp. I was told you're short of food. You need more meat? Finally, someone who wants to do some work. Yes, I need ten haunches of raw meat. You bring me the meat and I'll put a little gold your way. I never say no to gold. So who are the lieutenants here? If you can't find that out yourself, how are you going to help me? Just go and talk to everyone. You'll find them. You'll soon see who's in charge and who thinks they are. Here. Ten haunches of meat, as requested. Thanks. These are pretty good cuts. Looks like you've got a skill for hunting. Here's your gold. Hunting doesn't pay that well, then. Take it or leave it. That's what you're getting, and it's enough to fill your stomach or get you drunk. Your choice. The workers had downed tools, but I've got Brannon and Enrico to start work again. Good. One less worry. Here, take this. You'll need it. By the way... Lewis claims Brogar wants to replace the Don. Brogar's always been trouble, but since we've been in this swamp, Esteban's absence has really lowered morale. 
It gets tongues wagging and hands lazy. I wish he could see that. Talk to the men. This could be just the thing to get Esteban going again. Show him how bad things have got. But I'm going to need more proof than the word of a drunken hunter. Brogar is forcing Sam to work for him instead of hunting. He's sawing wood for Brogar's fire. That's why you've not been getting the meat you need. Damn Brogar. I thought he was trying to undermine Esteban. He'd be nothing without the Don, and now I need that meat. What do you want to do about it? Me? You do what you can. There'll be a full-on rebellion if stomachs go empty. If you want to help out, get me meat and get Sam back out hunting. Hey. Hey what? You bet be from Hawkins. I need those crates moving. What crates? The ones full of artifacts. What else are we moving? Damn Hawkins. His workers should have delivered them by now. I knew it was too much responsibility for the old coot. What's in these artifact crates? Puppies. Artifacts. What do you think, genius? Everything that's dug up from the ruins gets crated up. But keep your mitts off them. If you're looking for gold, then do some work. You dig for the Don, then you'll get your share. I'll think about it. So you're in charge of moving boxes, right? They're not just any old boxes. They're full of artifacts from the excavation sites. They get dug up, they come to me, and then they go to the Don. Oh, so you're not even moving boxes for yourself, then? When you get an important role here, then you can make jokes. Until then, shut your bleeding mouth. I've just arrived here. I'm not from anyone. Lazy more like. But you've never done a decent day's work in your life. Let's talk sensibly. I could help you get your crates. <laughs> Think you can. All right. We'll get going and get them moving. No sense in asking if you know the magic word. What magic word? Here, you're not with that Inquisition lot, are you? Look, I'll have no magical nonsense around here. I sorted out your crate delivery problem. Really? Well, thanks. Good to see someone's applying themselves. Tell you the truth, I ain't sure why the Don wants all this gold. Ain't like there's much to spend it on in a swamp. Not that I've seen. Anyway, you've put me in a generous mood. Here's a little advance on your share. A little more for me. Let's try a few rounds in the arena. Are you that keen to get a kick in? Here, have a swig of this. Ah, that's the good stuff right there. So, how about the arena? Go on then. A beer. Someone to punch. Life doesn't get much better. You're clearly a man of simple tastes.
time for a little lesson. Ah! Huh? Yeah! Okay, so you ain't bad, you ain't bad. I'll give you that. But your technique is all over the place. I want to improve my fighting skills. Domingo will have learned to respect you. Your win took him by surprise. And me. Here, your winnings. I don't like paying out. But you did what you bet you'd do. Haunch of fried meat. Good. You wouldn't want to see me when I ain't been fed. Why are you making Sam saw wood for you? What business is it of yours, little fish? He needs to hunt. If he doesn't, we'll all starve. And if I don't get wood for my fire, I'll be pissed off. You're pissing into the wind if you wait for Rachel to organize anything. You want something here, you have to take it. Yeah, I'm beginning to understand that. You seem to be a man who hears a thing or two. Have you heard anything about a broken sword blade? What good is a sword in pieces to anyone? Worthless junk! Only one who'd be interested in that is that blacksmith. And you, apparently. 
What's that about, then? Do you know where the pieces of the sword blade are? I know where one piece is. I've got it. Question is, what will you do to get it? Got any proper work for me? Are you actually good for something, little fish? Easy to be cocky with that weapon and fancy armor of yours. Nah, it's all the bodies I buried that make me cocky. Two of my boys are supposed to be guarding the Eastern Swamp Farm. But Clay's been lazing around the campfire. Go and see him. Make sure he takes over from Phil before Phil rots up there. Simple. I'm not losing another man to this fucking swamp. Do you boys do anything other than stand about all day? They're guarding. What do you expect? When it comes to standing around all day, these guys are the best. Trained killers, though, the lot of them. And if those creatures from the temples march in here, you'll be damn glad of them. So, show a little respect. The fighters answer to you, right? Yeah. Most of them owe their lives to me. One way or another, they know not to mess with a big fish. So you know where they are at all times? Course. Well, usually. One of them has gone missing. Dorgan was on an errand for me, down in the swamps. The Pillock's probably got himself lost. Or eaten. Or he's chasing wenches again, never could keep his mind on the task in hand. I'll look for him. When I get my hands on him, he's going to be emptying piss pots for the next month. Get Clay to take over from Phil. Sounds simple enough. The farm's over to the east. As it's a simple job, I'll assume you'll get it done. The Don's wife, um, Rachel, seems tense about something. The Don put her in charge of this mess, and if she can't feed people, how can she control anything else? Brogar wants the Don out of the way. Proving Rachel useless only helps him. Who are you? 
You here to relieve me? No. Huh. I've been waiting for Clay for hours. The sod should have relieved me long ago. What are you doing here? Are you standing guard? Yes, but I shouldn't be. I've been here so long, this godforsaken mud soaked through to my feet. What are you guarding? The swamp farmer. Without him, this place would be bleak. Bleak er. You don't like this place. Does this look like paradise to you? No taverns, no women, just swamp, disease, and mud. Thank the gods for the swamp farmer. At least he brings us our beer. What's here that's worth stealing? Not much, really. The problem's more those bloody animals everywhere. We could easily be overrun by wild boar, or worse. Are you one of the fighters here? I am out here. But when we were in the town, well, sleight of hands more my thing. Combat's for boneheads. I have a few real skills. Sneaking, opening locks, picking pockets. Proper honest skills, no violence needed. Sounds good. I want to be a better thief. New here, right? It's that easy to tell. Ah. Don's boys already got on your nerves, eh? They're just bored. No imagination, you see. What do you do here? I tend the Bruegelweed here on Robar's farm. It's not the most noble of plants, but it's versatile. You can brew beer with it. You can, should you be of a mind, smoke it as well. The smoke has special properties. If you know what I mean. Can you sell me some weed? Or beer? Surely can. And I have more to sell as well, if you're interested. Who is Robar? He's a salt-of-the-earth fellow. He farms this swamp. Well, this field. What do you have to sell? What do you know about the Don? I know enough not to mess with him. We used to be out here all alone, until they swept in and took the place over. But stick to his rules and he's a good man, if a hard taskmaster. Working in the fields isn't easy, but it gets you away from people. Space to think. That look. You've come for protection money. Protection money? Hmm. Maybe you just have that look. What brings you here? Is this your land? It's me that farms it. Then I use the Bruegel weed that grows here to make beer. What can you tell me about the area around here? You haven't been here long, have you? Let's see. Well, the boys in the camp all work for Don Esteban. They're collecting everything they can find made of gold. The Don must have a fortune in that temple by now. Do you work for the Don? Me? <laughs> I've been on this farm all my life. One day, these ruins rise up out of the ground, all over the place. Then Don Esteban comes here. At least he keeps these creatures from the temple away. Where did the gold the Don's collecting come from? From those temple ruins, the ones that rose from the ground. They say there are treasures there, and creatures. 
Could you teach me to make beer? I suppose. If you have a basic knowledge of alchemy. But it would take you years to learn properly. What's Bruegelweed? They call it a weed, but it's not. Mostly grows in the swamp or along rivers. But you can find it most anywhere. Looks useless, but you can't get hops out here. Well, not cheap, you can't. And this stuff will do the trick. Is your beer any good? There were those on the mainland who thought so. Barley Man's Export, they called it. Till the island was cut off. Every time you think you're getting ahead, life just drags you down. Which reminds me, the camp is waiting for a delivery. I don't suppose you'd be interested in dropping some bottles off for me? Why does everyone here see a new face and just assume I'll do jobs for them? Because you need people that will owe you favours. Favours? You never know when you'll need them. Take these ten bottles to Rachel, the camp cook. I need 50 gold coins for them, so I can pay my damn protection money. All right, but one day I'll want to collect that favor. Of course. Here's the beer. And don't forget, 50 gold pieces. 50? Yeah, I'll remember that. Does the Don ask you to pay for protection? No. It is Commander-in-Chief. The one that trains his fighters, Brogar. He demands 30 gold coins a month, or he'll take away the guards that look after my farm. So someone's found a way to earn money from this swamp. Maybe I could help you gather some Bruegelweed. Well, it would save me some time. All right. But I need deliveries of 10 plants. I'll give you 70 gold coins for every 10 you bring. I've heard that you trade with novices. I do, but visitors have been rare lately. I'm looking for magical items. Who told you to come here? I get it. None of my business. As it happens, I do have some scrolls to sell. I'm looking for a protection spell. Then you're in luck. I have one, but a word to the wise. Once it's used, the scroll is worthless. I have some Bruegel weed for you. Good job. Here's your gold. I can always use more plants. There are plenty of people who like beer. If you find more, you know the price. What can you teach me about the basics of alchemy? Shouldn't you be standing guard by the swamp farm? Piss off. The fire might keep you warm, but some gold coins will keep you warmer. See, I was thinking hot, not warm. Add another ten and we're in business. Ten? All right, here's ten. Pleasure doing business with you. Consider that swamp guarded. You're going to spend your whole life hanging around. Here, one beer for some information. 
Hey, 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 you got one. Uh, you're beautiful. So, why is everyone so afraid of Brogar? Ha! Why do you think? He's the strongest fighter in the camp. No one can beat him. How do you think I can get Brogar to fight me in the arena? Uh, you can't be serious. Ha! He'll turn you into mincemeat and then dance on all the little pieces. <laughs> Just tell me what I need to know. The only thing that'll make a man like that come out of his shell, little shell, like a snail. <laughs> I like a snail, it's all silver trails in the moonshine. Like, hmm, pretty. What will make him come out of his shell? Who? Oh! <laughs> fear, isn't it? You know, fear of losing control. He wants control of the camp. If someone comes and takes control, that'll piss him off. He'll want to show his boss, grind them into the dirt, all the way in, head first. Pull their head off and, you know, down their neck. You try this, or, or beat his fighters in the arena. That'll scare him too. Get him out of his shell. Right. Thanks. I'm looking for Dorgan, the fighter. That moron, he dis... He dis... ...off into a cave that way, east of here. He went in, just didn't come out. Wouldn't surprise me if something is in there and ate him. Hmm, the damn fool. To the east of here, you say? I'm looking for some pieces of a sword blade. Oh. Decorated with gold. They're everywhere. Everyone's got one. Well, not Hawkins. Or Jan. Or Rachel. Or Craig has one. I've seen it. It's quite big. And that moron has one as well. What moron? Dorgan. He's got a piece, moron. Of course, Brogar has one. You'd have to take him apart to get it. <laughs> and me. I've got one too. You have one. I'll give you a beer for the piece of sword blade. No way! What, what do you think I am, an idiot? It's easily worth two. Here, two beers. Beer! Beer! Ha <laughs> ha, here you go. Hmm, I don't have anything to ask at the moment. That's too bad. Shouldn't you be hunting? Damn it, don't you start. Everything's going to hell, and I'm supposed to go hunting? No way! I'd rather sit here and have a little drinky dinky do. If you start hunting, I'll give you a beer. Nope! That'll mean I gotta move, and I'm not moving. <laughs> you do it. Get hunting, or I'll get unpleasant. Wait, wait, wait! I'm waiting. What? Right. Mm. You go and deal with these rats. They're over the... Oh, south of here. If you come back, I'll give you 30 cold groins. Mm. What do you think? Those furry little rats you were worried about, they won't be looking at you funny again. Hey, that was fast. You're a pretty good hunter. Here, 30 gold coins. That's only 25. Yeah? Oh, well, <clears throat> it's all I've got. I had 30 once. <laughs>